Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of RimWorld here with Snookus, that's me, and you, that's you. Um, well, not a lot happened last time, we got raided like three times, but we uh, we managed to beat all of them off. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. And um, stuff like that, we got our little corpse room here going, and hopefully we should start to butcher some of them soon. I just realized we also want to have foods, raw food, meat, human meat, if we can find it. There. We also want to turn it off here. Cool. Then we can also allow these guys to cook with... Although we shouldn't. We should save it until we really need it, or until we can make fine meals. No one can do it yet, but you know, when we can, we can, and then we can use everything. Cool. I'm gonna major break risk here on uh, the professor, because I made her cook. Tuesday put out that fire without much a worry. Much of a worry. We got a squirrel here sniffing around probably a spy to our enemies probably working with any any of those um, pirate bands that keep attacking us or the tribes I mean we haven't actually have a, had a pirate attack in this colony yet but I'm sure they will get here eventually Now we're starting to actually um, pack a whole lot of food, which is really nice. And hopefully when um, Tuesday is done uh, growing, either today or tomorrow, he can move on to start mining again. Okay, so we got a, another refugee here seeking our help. It's an herbivore entrepreneur named Kusima Sima Jones. Okay, um, she, which, and she calls us from nearby. She is being chased by pirates, finally, and she be, she begs for safety. She's 55, though, so there's a chance that she do have some. Um, she does she does have some um, health issues, but we should we should be able to accommodate, don't you think? So let's uh, let's sure let's allow her to join. She's amazing. Okay, I'm I'm glad I did this now. Um, before the raid begins, let's make sure that she knows what she's doing. She's gonna be our main tamer here, which allows us to allow the professor to do something else. A good hunter, although she doesn't have a weapon yet, so let's not. Good researcher. Uh, we also want her to haul and clean before she re research, but otherwise she 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 can research whatever. Whenever and whatever she wants. Uh, growing. Let's put her on a, a two then. So she helps out. And she also has a passion. So uh, she's going to be pretty good at getting good at it. Anything else? No, that seems pretty much good. Okay. Although she can cook as well. so And she, she, have, uh, she has a bit of a passion for it. So let's allow her to do that as well. Okay. They finally have some guns. So this guy's got a... A sniper rifle, although I don't know what he's doing. He's snorting J.O. Okay, so he's gonna be high when they attack us. And the other guys have got some um, weapons as well. Let's see, did um, anyone finish building those um, bows? It seems, it seems like someone did. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. We need another, another animal area. Um, animal safe the area and then we're gonna place everyone but Paisley in there I'm not gonna unbound everyone because we don't want them to help out and then we expand around area animal safety area in here yeah cool okay and everyone else is coming to help out over here yep yeah. and They are far away, aren't they? A bit away. So I'm the foremost 
attacks are gonna be placed here. Then we have Tuesday, which is gonna help us out with her bow from the other flank. I suppose we could try to um, spread out a bit so we get a bit more angles. And then Seema gets the peel, actually Seema. You get... You get the, um, the bow because you were so good at shooting. So let's place the professors like there. And a cold snap, which is, uh, well, it's uh, fortunate that we have got some um, some vegetables out of the ground before the cold snap. Uh, so you got a bow. So let's try to place you like... We don't really have a, another good outcropping, but I suppose here. I'm a bit afraid that they're gonna target, they're gonna have an easy time to hit any one of us by accident, simply by aiming, aiming in our general direction, but I don't know. Hopefully the warg helps out a bit. Holy shit, good turret. Or it might be me. Okay, so let's look at this then. I'm the best shooter, so I'm gonna keep um, the um, short rifle. Sima though, Sima. He's gonna take the sniper rifle. We also got some Yayo, um, which hopefully no one is gonna take. And a uh, survival rifle. So, by of Tuesday and the professor, the professor is better. So, you can take the survival rifle. Cool. And then we're gonna strip these guys. Then, Tuesday, you can take. You can keep the bow actually. Cool, now we got uh, another guy here. Now it's pretty important that we get this um, bedroom up and running. So let's cancel these two orders we prevent them from digging out this area and make sure that they start to dig this bedroom as soon as possible. You aren't horrible with digging either, so I'm gonna let allow you to dig some as well. I am horrible though and so is the professor. So. You know, um, cool, that's nice, our um, colony keeps growing at an unprecedented speed, it seems. And you know what, let's cancel this as well. We've got a lot of major break risk here. Observed rotting corpse. I don't know where, but okay. I suppose it might have been some of the boars down here, but... I feel like that shouldn't have happened. Didn't I allow for... Why aren't anyone butchering, I wonder? If I, can I tell myself to... Um... Yeah, I can. Okay. Do I get a debuff by doing that? Yeah, I do. But... No, I'm actually a pessimist as well. We got one pessimist, two pessimists, a depressive guy and another pessimist. We are... Should have uh, named the village the Depressive Club or something. <laughs> we got a lot of human leather as well. Wow, this just looks gross. Holy hell. Alright, the animals are free to do whatever they want again. Are one of the Labradors pregnant? Doesn't seem like it. I saw them doing the do later, uh, earlier, so... Um, Hopefully one of them gets pregnant eventually. Now we got a lot of butchered humans here. Which we can always resort to eating if uh, if we are in, um, in a bit of a situation. Let's build a steel door here for our big big complex we need uh, a secure door there because hopefully eventually everyone is gonna um, sleep in a room in here somewhere instead of these easily accessible rooms or easily unbreakable rooms this is a short bow right yeah so let's give you a great bow instead i know you just woke you up but i'm sure you can manage the professor 
hopefully snaps out of it so we can um, get her to take her survival rifle again. Right, it's a cold snap, so we, we need to um, peel the heaters, really, but uh, as a short-term solution, I'm gonna place torches pretty much everywhere. Let's place two in most rooms, just so um, the rooms are heated up somewhat. They don't need to be super hot, but they need to be livable. I mean, look at this. This little room is easily heated with one torch so two torches should be enough to um, handle these larger rooms hopefully at least and then in the future i'm gonna connect everything with vents events as usual and then i'm gonna place a few heater heaters here and there so we've got a We've got our first complex room going, and um, that's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a pretty good start. You know what? I'm gonna go with this all the way. We, we don't have a lot of steel, but I'm gonna place a steel door anyway, because if a fire breaks out in this complex, it's not gonna. It's gonna stay within one room, so it doesn't break through the door and it doesn't break through um, the walls either. So either. So in the worst case scenario, we, we lose one room with all of its content, but we don't lose the whole complex. Uh, let's build a smart, not a smarter, a wooden floor here, and then um, another bed. And a torch lamp for now. We're gonna uh, we're gonna place a real ramp lamp later on, but we need the heating now, pretty much. It's already quite hot, so these rooms are actually benefiting quite a lot um, the, by the torches. So that's nice. We got some simple meals going. Right, we can't forget to do this. We're also gonna create a door between them two, so we can say a, a tailor can just run between and get some cloth from this stockpile. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna plan out, so I'm not gonna build it immediately. Actually, we can't because we want to. Uh... Yeah, we can't really. I thought of uh, making uh, like a closet with uh, yeah, as a separate room where we keep all of the clothes, but uh, we'll do that somewhere else. Okay, so the cold snap is over. I don't think we actually can grow some more, so we're gonna be desperate here for food for most of them. Now I actually wish we harvested a lot more berries. Although I suppose it's not too late yet. Actually it is. Okay, that's crappy. Tuesday is hard at work here. We got a, a lot more steel and even more steel up here, so uh, Steel-wise, we're not gonna have much of an issue, hopefully. And as soon as we've got all of our dogs and uh, pigs uh, trained to haul, we're gonna be able to scale back on the hauling jobs quite a lot and um, Basically, just focus on our specialized skill sets. You know what? Let's allow some slag chunks to be here as well. They already are, okay, so don't mind me. My neighbors are being um, unprecedentedly loud today. I don't know what's going on. They never sounded this much. Hopefully, you don't hear any of it. But you might, and then if that's the case, I uh, I apologize. It's not much I can do about it. Okay, so that's this going uh, 
quite well. Everyone has a bedroom. No, yeah, they do. Even though someone is, I, uh, I am sleeping in the battery room, pretty much. But you know, it's uh, whatever gets us by, I suppose. Okay, so we do have a few more days to grow, probably to the eleventh. So to capitalize on that, let's build another growing zone, just to get as much out of it as we can. Okay, so um, someone is racing in the stairway or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so our stockpile is done. Let's build a steel door here. Oh, it's not done, but it's getting there. Cool, and then let's copy these settings, paste settings, and then delete. Then gonna Rename it to in case we get if we get uh, multiple stockpiles, we now have them numbered as well. And I think now's the time to um, cut some plants so they don't they're not in the way when we walk around. Something like that. I hate how the human meat looks basically like bacon. It's uh, a bit worrying. I'm gonna build some concrete store, concrete floors, not stores, uh, in here so it's fast to walk on, it's sterile, and um, it's not too expensive. And unfortunately, not pretty. It's not pretty. It's not pretty either. But um, that's not really what it's for, is it? It's mainly to um, make sure that we can walk as fast as possible on it. And um, the hauling job is being done here. We're um, mainly Sima is doing what she can to haul everything in here. Someone is putting. Um, Concrete on the floor here, so that's nice Let's do the same in here Okay, psychic drone every colonist of the female gender ninjas Okay, so who is female the professor is Sima is also female. Okay, three, three females. We're gonna have a, a lot of um, mood issues now, unfortunately. We, we should uh, be fine, but it's gonna be a bit of an issue. Hopefully we don't get attacked in the meantime. How long does it keep up? Okay, so three days. Three more days. Not steel door there. Got a major break risk on the professor. Depressive pl plus um, butchered human like, and the addition of the psychic drone isn't isn't great for her, her um, mood. Let's put Sima on mainly cleaning. And then she will help out to grow as well, hopefully. Okay, you know what? I think this is a good time to uh, take a break and um, end the episode here, and then we can continue in the next episode. So please leave a like if you want to see more of this, and if you like it, or you just want to show your appreciation. And uh, I assure you, I'm, I'm gonna appreciate you showing your appreciation. And uh, then hopefully, I'm gonna see you next time. So uh, have a nice day. Bye.